Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Marina Bussina. I'm a clinical professor of medicine at Stanford University School of Medicine Division of Endocrinology. And I welcome you all here today for our lecture series on a various diabetes topic that is devoted to World Diabetes Day. On uh, this topic, I am going to discuss uh, the new diabetes technology coming up in 2023, which is a very exciting topic that I wanted to share what's in the horizon. We currently have um, the insulin, several different insulin pumps. Uh, technology is improving um, every Today, we're coming up with new devices, with new technology, with improvement of current devices. So currently available Tandem X2 insulin pump with control AQ technology is um, here underneath on this picture. What's coming up in the new year is the different version of this pump is that what used to be um, initially called as T-Sport pump and it has now changed the name to Mobi. Um, so this pump has a T-Connect application with the mobile bolusing option. So meaning administering boluses through the phone via the mobile application. So Tandem Mobi, or again, former um, proposed name as T-Sport Mini Pump uh, will be coming out next year. Um, it was submitted to FDA uh, recently. It has um, the size of the pump, about half of the size of the current pump. It would not have any display on the screen and it would be completely controlled via the mobile application. It, uh, there will be more personalized settings in Control IQ. And again, additional features would be added to the mobile app. There will be voice activated commands into the phone and cartridge size will be 200 units or two cc's comparing to the 300 units or three cc's in a current pump. Omnipod 5, um, this pump is already available. I just wanted to mention that um, because the device came out just recently in the last few months, it is currently available at either durable medical equipment or local pharmacies, depending on the insurance. The device consists of the Bluetooth enabled pod with that has the insulin in it, the Dexcom G6 sensor that communicates directly with the pod and the PDM, which is a personal diabetes manager device um, that sends the commands about on the boluses uh, to the um, uh, to the pod. So it has smart adjust technology to analyze the received continuous glucose monitoring data and to adjust insulin delivery every five minutes. Sensor generates the data from the interstitial fluid and again sends the data straight to the pod. And transmitter, this little gray part of this uh, uh, does sensor G6, also sends the data to the Dexcom G6 app on your phone, but not to the PDM. The uh, pump can function in automated mode or can function in a manual mode. So if it's automated mode, the insulin delivery being adjusted every five minutes, it requires an active pod connected to CGM to the Dexcom G6. You can also use it as a manual mode. You can use it with the CGM, but insulin delivery would be uh, based on what the program settings in the pump are. So other system that is coming out in the new year, um, it's a new Medtronic version. It's Medtronic 780G, which will uh, be called Advanced Hybrid Closed Loop System. Um, it will use the new generation four sensor, which will be requiring only one calibration on the first day of the wear. The sensor will uh, be worn for seven days. The automatic correction bolus will be delivered also every five minutes with automatic adjustment if boluses are missed or if blood sugars are high. 
um, there will be also suspension or reduction of the insulin delivery if blood sugars are trending down. This would be the first pump that will have adjustable glucose targets that you can choose from 100, the lowest target that would be available, or 120. Um, there will be adjustable insulin duration times, uh, which mainly would be used for corrective manual corrective boluses. There is a built-in Bluetooth for data sharing and remote monitoring with the remote software updates. So that any upgrades on the pump will, can be done via the software upgrade on the device. Um, the FDA application was submitted for um, children and adults um, and for children two years or older. Tentative release date, it's first quarter of 2023, but um, depends on the FDA decision. The next uh, device that I was going to talk about is the Dexcom G7. That is a long time waited um, device for release. Um, it's smaller than currently G6 device. It combines the sensor and transmitter in the same device, so you do not need to um, plug in this, the transmitter into the sensor holder. So it all comes in once. Plan for release, hopefully during the first quarter of 2023. So the features of the G7 comparing to G6, it would be fully disposable. It will also be a, seven, a ten, 10 day wear, the same as current G6, will require no calibration. It's a 70% thinner than the current one, and its integration with the software dosing assistant would be available, and possibly um, uh, different versions of sensors for type 2 and type 1. Um, that has not been has, um, announced yet. Um, and the warm-up time, which is the, very exciting for patients, and they're waiting for it only 30 minutes. Libre 3. The device is already available. Um, that the, it's a very thin device comparing to double pennies uh, kind of stacked together. So there's no need for scanning as Libre 2. Um, it's a real-time sensor. The data is being transmitted to the app on the phone every minute. And uh, the data displays on this mobile app. There are optional alerts for highs and lows and data can be shared up to 20 people with via the Libre link application. Um, so another sensor that is available in Europe, um, there are some studies ongoing uh, in the US. Uh, We're not sure if it's gonna come out in next year or, um, or not, but it's been approved in Europe in 2019. It's a 15 day CGM with rechargeable transmitter. It's the size of a nickel communicates with a mobile app via Bluetooth. Um, it's pretty accurate. Um, so the accuracy plus minus 12% or 11.9% clinical trials are ongoing. So um, hopefully we will get to this new technology next year as well. So other um, technology, exciting technology that is available for the limited use, uh, it's called Bigfoot Unity Diabetes Management System. It integrates smart pen cap um, that is connected or uh, communicates with the Libre2. Uh, there is a special subscription payment uh, model uh, featuring regular mail order deliveries and the supplies are bundled. It uses smart digital pen cap that transmits insulin dosing and information between the pen and the mobile app. There are two versions of the pen caps available. One would be for long acting insulin or basal insulin. The other one is for short acting or rapid acting insulin. Those caps will read CGM data from Bluetooth enabled Abbott CGM or Libre2. And um, they're able to scan the Libre sensor into this Bluetooth Unity pen cap. Um, in addition to the current scanning with the dedicated smartphone. So um, the pen cap is also able to scan the glucose data. View all the data on the mobile app and also in the cap. Currently available only for a limited release. And those are some pictures of how it looks like. Um, so the cap for the long acting and short acting insulin it comes with a glucometer, so the Libre 2 connects or um, to the um, to the caps, and the caps can scan 
the Libre2 data as well as the phone app that is currently available. And those are the pins and the caps that are placed on the pins. So the Lanches is a long acting insulin. So you would put the long acting insulin, um, the cap, or for the short acting, it would be short acting insulin cap. And as I said, it comes as a bundle with the meter, with the Libres and with the pins and pen caps. So other devices, uh, also another smart pen um, made by Lily. This is a Lily connected smart pen. It is a disposable pen. It transmits data from pen to mobile app on the dosing. And there it has a tempo smart button when it's become available. And it will be a part of the tempo personalized diabetes management platform. Um, this is made by Lily and Nova Nordisk also will have Nova Pen 6 smart pen available in 2023. So I hope this information was um, helpful just to see what to expect to come um, in the next to on upcoming year. Uh, we're very excited about all the new technology that's coming uh, because each uh, device comes with new features and new innovations that are improved comparing to the previous one. Thank you very much for your attention and um, have a wonderful holiday season.